time for the maiden voyage. Let's do this. We got one problem. I just remembered the turn signals aren't working right now, so probably gonna need those to actually go for our first rip. So it's gonna take like 30 seconds here, It'll be more than that, but uh, try and uh, fiddle with this switch, figure out what's going on, and uh, hopefully I can get some things working the way they should. Well, it was not a success. It's that moment when you hype yourself up and uh, you just, you know, get your heart broken. So, turn signals still not working. I have to dive in a little bit more, check the fuse, um, check the wiring. Everything seemed to be okay. I don't know what the hell. Maybe my switch actually pooped itself. I don't think that's the case. Um, but I'm gonna have to dive into a little bit more. So, pause. We're going to dive in another day um, and take this thing for the first ride. I don't wanna make this video us fixing the problem. That doesn't matter. Um, I'll probably figure that out off camera. And again, we'll come back when everything is good to go and we're actually taking it for a ride. God damn it, it's a beautiful day too. It's not too hot, not too cold, a little bit of a breeze shit. It would be amazing, it would have been perfect, but uh, what can you do? We're back and we're ready to go. This is huge, this is huge. I had a brain blast while I was in the shower, you know, just couldn't figure out. You know, the signals were working. There's no reason why they shouldn't be working right now. And you know, I'm like, let's go through the hazard switch. I know the hazard switch is connected to the turn signals. You know, if something's not working out 100% there, the turn signal switch is not gonna be, you know, doing what it needs to do. So I went through, disconnected it, connected the connector again, and we're good, we're rolling. So it's getting later, but I think I have enough daylight to go for a quick, I, I just wanna go for a quick 10 minute shakedown test, make sure transmission is good, I can shift. You know, I'm gonna stay fairly close into uh, the survey here. I don't wanna get stranded, obviously. So, we'll do that, let's go right now. I don't know how much battery I'm gonna have on this, but we're bringing you with, the, with me, and we're gonna get the first drive of the year. Let's go. Way fills up again. I'm on a limited window right now, so I still got my light on on my phone. I'm trying to figure out the stupid signals. Oh, I gotta put my shoes on too. God, just slipped them on. Didn't think it was gonna work, and it worked. Okay, we're ready. Open the window. I might close it because it'll be too loud for you guys, but we'll see how she goes. Got a little bit of gas. See if it uh, can shift, really, this thing. I don't know how it's gonna handle. Brakes feel good. As you can see, I'm in my PJs because I did not expect this to work. Oh, feels good. Stopping and starting with the lightweight flywheel, that's gonna be, I knew it was gonna be a little bit different, but I really didn't know what to expect. But the transmission shifts way better. Huge bonus. 
Now something's making noise, so we're gonna circle back. Oh, you know what it could be? I know exactly what it is. We're gonna go slow. It's my stupidity. I don't know if I torque these wheels, guys. All right, we'll check back in in a second. Clutch is clicking on the way out. I think it's the pedal assembly, because I can feel like a, a click happening. It should be an easy fix. I'll be right back. Yeah, they were definitely loose. Well, not loose, but you know what I mean. They needed to be torqued, so definitely an error on my side. Shit happens, but it's always good to double check and triple check your work. Again, that's me not checking my list before we take it for the freaking first drive. Stupidity. Let's try round two, see what happens. This clutch is sketching me out, guys. I had to make some adjustments to the clutch pedal. And I think there's a little plastic piece that prevents the clutch pin from coming out the pedal. And it got freaking mangled coming out. So we're just gonna go around the block here, make sure everything else works. Again, I can't really be too hard on the car right now anyway. I gotta break her in, but that clutch thing I have to fix, cause if that pin comes out when we're driving. We're gonna have issues, for sure. Transmission feels amazing though. Very direct, no slop in anything, it shifts very smooth. There used to be a massive clunking sound in the transmission, or I thought it was in the rear end, but I changed the rear end when I did my uh, conversion, and uh, the clunk was still there, so I'm assuming it had to be with, with the transmission now, because I mean, I haven't gone through many shifts, but doesn't seem to be clunking, so that's good news. Am I in fourth? Even like downshifting, no clunking, you know, seems to be uh, pretty decent. Overall happy with it, I just gotta fix that clutch pin. It, it just, it seems a weird design to have a clutch pin like that. It goes from like large to small and it just like, the cotter pin that you throw in there, it just so easily for it to come out of place. Like I don't understand why you wouldn't just make the pin a little bit, you know, the same size all the way through so the cotter pin doesn't have the ability to actually work its way out. I don't know. Or the, the, the clip, it's just like a, I don't know how to explain what kind of clip it is, but. The car feels really good though, in terms of, you can definitely tell the lightweight flywheels helped with the acceleration, like it just feels a lot more peppy but you do have to rev the car a lot more to get her to take off, but feels really good. Oh, I'm not even giving her. Yeah, we're gonna keep this one very short, probably gonna call it right here, and uh, figure out that clutch pin and then we'll go out for another ride. Again, right now there's not gonna be too much excitement because I gotta break the shit in. And it needs about a thousand miles because of the clutch I got, the Kevlar clutch, so it's gonna be a little while, but hope you guys enjoyed this little 
video of me, you know, trying to figure out this car and at least able to take it around the block, really, at this point. It wasn't much more than that, but at the end of the day, it was exciting nonetheless. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay classy, crew. Peace out.